What a beautiful scenery this time of the year. And I'm enjoying it big time in my hometown. Hello everybody, I'm Captain Awesomeness, your host. And it's been a few days since I actually uploaded a video. So long story short, I've been pretty busy and I apologize if I haven't had the time to upload a video and whatnot. I was um, basically trying to pack things up and get ready to come back home to the US. Uh, and uh, in that you know, time, just, just was not able to do any editing or any <laughs> recordings and all that stuff. So having said that, well, I'm gonna welcome all of you guys who are in Pakistan to where I live. I'm from Strongsville, Ohio, and uh, that is about 22 miles south of Cleveland, Ohio. This area that I live in is kind of a kind of a great like a gem, basically, uh, in that that you know I live in a suburb. Uh, it's got beautiful. Um, how should I put it, na nature stuff like this here. And on top of that, there's a bunch of um, just other things that, you know, people can do. It's a very family oriented suburb. So I, uh, I really enjoy it. And as I had promised you guys, I would start to show you guys a little bit more than just the karting stuff, but I will stay in the motorsports uh, arena as much as I can. On top of that, well, I'm also going to uh, do a little bit of talking about what's been going on, right? So what's kept me busy is, like I mentioned, you know, taking my trip back to the US and packing up and all that stuff. However, uh, prior to leaving, uh, all of my buddies uh, at the track at uh, the 2F2F Karting Club in Lahore had invited me to two races that I did, one on the day before I left and one a few days before that. Unfortunately though, all that recording may have been lost permanently. And the reason for that uh, comes from some kind of a malware thing that happened to go into my SD card and I'm unable to recover those files. But if I, w if I find a way to actually recover them, then you will see an upload. In the meantime, I am going uh, to show you Wallace Lake here in Strongsville. I'm sure you can see somebody also paddling their boat in the back, or I think it's a, it's a canoe. Uh, so uh, that's what I plan on doing today, just showing you um, how beautiful this park is where I live. But in the meantime, enjoy the scenery, guys. Whoa, that's a real nice view. So, this is one of my favorite parts of uh, Wallace Lake. Uh, it's just a mini waterfall, if you want to call it. I kind of like it. Uh, <laughs> what's different about it this time, though, is that big ass tree that's sitting out there that needs to move. Um, you don't usually see something crazy like this, but eventually, the uh, people who manage it, the Cleveland Metro Parks, will come around and do cleanups uh, and get that taken care of. But I really enjoy it out here with my wife. I basically just sit at this little bench right here. And um, all I do is just kind of take in that fresh air and go from there. So all in all, it's, it's, it's a beautiful spot, this whole park. And uh, uh, I just wanted to first show you the, guys this part after you know going through the actual lake portion of it. And then uh, we're gonna go into what's, I think, uh, one of my other favorite parts of this park. So keep watching, guys. All right, guys, so this is my favorite part of the whole park. Uh, it's called the Fitness Trail, as you probably saw. And uh, basically, you're going through the wooded part of the park, and uh, it's a pretty good scene. Uh, unfortunately, lighting is kind of a crappy situation right now. It looks like there's some overcast clouds that may turn into rain. Uh, no idea. But Mizva, uh, my wife, is right here with me. If she would slow down for a second, slow down for a second. So, say hello to everybody. Hi. <laughs> So we are going to start showing you guys what it's like to go through our favorite part of the park. Uh, it can get a bit dark and uh, if the camera doesn't catch uh, the uh, video in optimum lighting, I'm sorry about that. But hey, you know, I, I just want to show you guys at least what I do when uh, we basically don't have much to do. And uh, it's a good way to exercise, really. So enjoy, guys. So uh, along the way, you'll see uh, these kinds of things, uh, exercise. Uh, facilities that you can use so this is for uh, hand walk basically kind of lift yourself off 
Uh, wifey is leading the way into the wooded part. Um, I think the good part about walking through here is just seeing how beautiful nature is. Only one time did we run into a deer here, uh, but besides that, we don't really uh, see very many animals getting in our way. Ooh, looks scary. It's starting to get dark. And I'm feeling a little bit of rain falling on us. See this here? Woods everywhere. If I find Bigfoot here, that would be a huge discovery since I have a camera now. So that camera, if it catches uh, Bigfoot, at least I'll have some proof. <laughs> You know what does suck about these nature walks? They can sometimes be a backfiring situation for you. So like I was mentioning earlier, it looks like it'll rain. It's raining right now and uh, we're a little too far away from the car. So it's going to take us a while to get back. So if I'm drenched, uh, you know, within the recording, uh, don't mind, I guess. But it's not going to be because I'm sweating. It's because, yeah, it may be a downpour. It may just be a few drops. You never know in the Cleveland area. So all my friends who are uh, from uh, this region know that very well. If you don't like the weather here, wait five minutes and it'll change on you. And uh, one thing that uh, reminds me of this uh, particular trail is uh, a time when I used to be a soldier. So um, there was this place where you had to basically learn land navigation. Basically you get these uh, Thing, uh, these numbers they were called grid coordinates and they would drop you off at a certain spot and you had to find your way back using those coordinates and you had to confirm that you were at those routes and all that stuff so uh, there was a uh, a guy with me in uh, officer candidate school by the name of Christopher Curtis and Chris if you're watching hey man shout out to you I still miss you brother and uh, unfortunately during that land nav he got hurt and I remember walking through something similar to this where it was an unpaved road and it was just downpour rain and it was just crazy and I saw him hurt so I decided to stick with him all the way through I did not give up on him and that was the thing the army teaches you a lot of things and one of the things it teaches you is you never leave anyone behind and it just so happened that I instinctively just stopped what I was doing I didn't care about my progress whether I would pass that test or not but I made it happen and I stopped and I uh, helped pull him and I wouldn't stop until I felt like he would actually pass. So something of a life lesson that I learned that I still think of to this day. Well, 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 was that an eventful trip out there at the park. So <laughs> it, uh, it, was, it was something I was not anticipating, but um, things happened here. Like I said a little bit while I was recording my video that uh, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and it's funny enough it just was a huge downpour that happened while we were out at the uh, park and uh, we just ran for the car i mean i'm sorry i couldn't show any footage but i was trying to save my gopro from getting all wet and whatnot uh, but at this point yeah it's sunny out there as if it never even rained it's just how it is here uh, in any case, yeah, uh, so the, <laughs> the trip at the park got, got cut short, but I figured, you know what, right now is a great time to have a cup of tea and uh, kind of, you know, just talk to you guys in general about just a few things that I kind of wanted to mention. So uh, I don't know if I said something about it earlier in the video, but I'm going to be changing a lot of how I go about recording videos you know uh, the content has to change as a result of where i am now i'm not going to be able to see or visit a lot of outdoor go-kart uh, racing uh, tracks here in the cleveland area because uh, if there are any they are pretty far out from here and uh, trying to get to them is not always the most convenient thing around me there are two tracks that uh, are indoor but i've been told they're a lot of fun nonetheless they're not going to be the same still uh, primarily because of the fact that the first part about it uh, is that not only are they indoor but at the same time all the cars that they have are electric and electric cars don't tend to go that fast then the other part is that the tracks are real small like one-fifth of a mile compared to the mile long tracks that I'm used to racing at in the outdoor type uh, and not to even mention you know the fact that um, on the automotive side tracks are even longer and that's what I've been doing but still I'll go out there I'll visit those places 
places and I'll show you guys what's going on there as well at those two places. Uh, first one is called High Voltage uh, Racing, which is out in Medina, Ohio. It's about 20 minutes south of me. And then one in Cleveland called Pro Boss or Boss Pro uh, uh, Karting, which is 20 minutes north of me in the Cleveland area. So um, I'm going to visit both places. I'll see what I can do about getting the best lap times out there. I'll see if they have any kind of leagues that I can take a part in and, you know, try to race as fast as I can. So all that is yet to come. And in the process, if I make some friends here as well in the karting community or the racing community, you guys will definitely be the first ones to see it all. So... All in all, it, this is a short video uh, today. I was not really uh, planning on making it so short just because of the fact that, again, the rain kind of screwed things up. But I do intend on going back to that park again. I got to have you guys see how beautiful um, this area is where I live. The greenery is just ridiculous, you know, so refreshing to the eyes. Um, so I look forward to doing that for you guys. And again, don't forget to mention um, any particular thing that you want to see in this area. I'd be more than happy to discuss that with you guys uh, but until then uh, I'll continue seeing you guys I'm sure over the next several videos uh, continue watching I'll take small breaks uh, in between all my sessions meaning that if it's not every day I'll try to do it every other day uh, even if I don't have uh, content with racing you'll see stuff like what I did today uh, getting uploaded so uh, also I'm all open to suggestions from any one of you guys about what you'd like to you know see me do as well while I'm here in the United States for I don't know how long before I go back to Pakistan uh, for another few months who knows how it all goes so e either way you know uh, the thing is I'm doing this because I really enjoyed the company that a lot of you guys gave me while I was at the track and then I have friends here that I also want uh, you guys to see as well well, people um, that I work with in one of the best professions which is being a soldier so uh, that uh, that's gonna be also coming as well so until the next video guys have a good one while I enjoy this tea